I got some things that I want to say to Disney. Um, we'll probably put this up in a blog post and see if we can get Disney's attention with these. But um, there are three things I want to rant about, about uh, some of the things that have been going on. First is um, last week I got a message from somebody that had just gotten back after Thanksgiving. And they talked about how dirty everything was at Walt Disney World. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, that's that can't be right. But then I remembered a few years ago, we were in Epcot on a Saturday of the Food and Wine Festival, and there were people everywhere, and there was there were there was trash everywhere. I mean, the place was dirty, um, and this is a problem. Disney, this is a problem. This was one of Walt's really pet peeves. This is what separated Disney from other theme parks. This is what separates Disney from other theme parks. If we want to go to a dirty theme park, we'll go to, I'm not going to say another name, uh, fill in the blank. But uh, <clears throat> this is what, se Disney, this is what separates you from other theme parks, is your cleanliness. Now, I know over the last few years, you've been in this big push to, um, <clears throat> to right-size your employee base, which has really meant that you have... You've cut the people that help keep your parks clean. Um, and, and this is something that will ultimately reflect badly on the crowds. Now, I know crowds are up and you don't have to listen to me about this because crowds, one of these days, that's going to turn. And this is going to be one of the reasons why. I know last year you had a little speed bump and the summers you definitely had a speed bump on crowd levels. But... <clears throat> If you want to, if you want to separate yourself from other parks, you have got to keep your parks clean. You've got to keep the maintenance done. You've got to do that painting that you used to do every day. Main Street used to get painted every year from one end to the other. You've you've quit doing that kind of stuff, and it really is showing. Uh, and it, and there will come a day where there will be a reckoning for this. Uh, so number one, rant number one, clean up the parks. Number two, yay, you just bought Fox. Oh, you paid $52 billion for what, Avatar? Um, what on earth did you want to spend $52 billion? You could have invested that money in your own stuff. In uh, Anyway, don't get me started. Okay, but the bottom line here is the, the you're going out and buying innovation. You're not doing it yourself. You're, you're growing by just buying other things. Walt was all about innovating. I mean, look at what he did. He changed movies. He changed uh, full-length cartoons. He invented that. <laughs> cartoons with sound. M movies with sound. Walt invented it. The theme park. The theme park today. Walt invented it. Hundreds of things I could talk about that Walt invented. You're not doing that anymore. You're not even making real new movies. You're, you're not taking anything to the next level. You're just going out and buy what other people. Pixar is great. Yeah, but you didn't start Pixar. Uh, Lucasfilms, great. You didn't start Lucasfilms. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this Fox News thing, it might grow your empire, but it's time for Disney to become the innovator again. Um, you know, it's just one of the things that has really bothered me that they, you've lost your innovation. All right, so that's rant number two. Uh, rant number three. What do Avatar Land, Toy Story Land, and Star Wars Land all have in common? Anybody know? Anybody know? What do these all have in common? I know there's a little delay, so by the time you answer, I'll be long gone off of this. But here's what they all have in common. Disney is, you're spending hundreds of millions and billions of dollars on these lands to get two rides. Each of these lands only have two rides. Toy Story Land, two rides. Star Wars Land, two rides. Avatar Land, two rides. It's just almost embarrassing that, you know, you spend a billion dollars and you only get two rides out of it. Avatar Land, close to a billion dollars, two rides. And one restaurant. Two rides and one restaurant. Yeah, the, the land is beautiful. Yes, the rides are incredible. But they just, 
it's just sad that you cannot. It's like this. It's like going to eat a steak dinner and only getting steak. You're not getting the sides. You're not getting bread. You're not giving us salad. You're not giving us even a dessert. Uh, all you're giving us is these big, massive, yeah, they're great. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful 30 ounce ribeye. It's, it's slathered in butter. I mean, it's perfectly medium rare, but that's all I'm getting. I'm not getting what a, a full meal because you're focused so much on these big, huge money rides. And really it's only one money ride and a kind of a, a, a throwaway ride in all three of these lands. There, there's just not, I did a little, I, this morning, actually, I, I did a count. You, do you know that there are more rides in Disneyland um, and Disney California Adventure, that 160 acres in California, just 160 acres in California, there are, what was it, uh, nine more rides at Disneyland. Nine more rides at Disneyland and California Adventure than there are in all of Walt Disney World. 75 rides and attractions at Disneyland, Disney California Adventure. 64 at Walt Disney World. And that includes the two new Avatar rides. You add the four, the the four new ones from Star Wars and and uh, Toy Story, and you still don't get to as many rides. You got twenty four thousand acres. Build some rides. I went to Disneyland a couple years ago, and the thing I loved about it was there was it was not so much the the big things, but the little rides. You go over to the Bugs Life Bugs Life area. <clears throat> And they're like four cute little rides. Now these things are are chintzy and they're cute and they're it's kind of like at Disney World. It's kind of like the uh, the rides over in um, Dino Land. Uh, those rides over there in Dino Land, Hester and Chester's uh, adventure area. It's kind of like those rides, and not even as 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 well def defined as those rides. Um, that's what is missing at Walt Disney World is there should be a each park. I mean, it's down to where in uh, Epcot, I mean, sorry, in Hollywood Studios, there are only seven rides and attractions now. And then four new, oh, that'll only bring it up to 11. That's just sad. Uh, so Disney, think about these cheap rides. Won't cost you much to build them. You could take that half a million, half a billion, five hundred million dollars that you, you spent on, on the last big upgrade you did, the, the Fantasyland upgrade, that five hundred million dollars that you spent there. You could put fifty rides in and just make this really not a problem. It'll also help with your crowd problems. Trust me, it will help with your crowd problems. All right, those are my rants. Um, Comment Sonia says about the dirty parks. It was dirty at times, and the lack of maintenance was there when we were there Thanksgiving. Aaron says, uh, lighter note about the trash. I miss plush. Yeah, put, push, push the talking trash can. Yeah, I kind of miss him too. Um, so, what do you think about all of these things about the the rants that Dad has? Put them down in the comments, and uh, we'll talk about them. Thanks so much for watching Dad's video. For more simple, fun magic Walt Disney World information, go to Dad's Guide to WDW.com. You can do that by clicking the i button that's popping up on the screen right now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Dad's YouTube videos with Daditude.